Welcome after buzzers, you're watching the after show for Greenleaf, season four, episode nine, God Justice, where tonight we talk Bishop's Gambit, Charity's Revelation, and Grace Steps Down with special guest Jacob Gibson. Hey. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Welcome back, Greenleaf fans. We are back for another week. I'm your host, Shaka Smith, joined by my lovely co-host, Miss TK Trinidad, who you can see on Women's Weekly Wrestling every week. Bonjour. And we got uh, Rocky Harris from Twitter, Black Twitter Live. Yeah, what's poppin'? And of course, we have our special guest, you may know as AJ, Mr. Jacob hey, Gibson. What's up? What's up? Thank, Hello. Thank you so much for stepping <laughs> in here. <with> us. <laughs> we really appreciate you joining us tonight. So. Yes. Yeah. So where did you come from? Uh, to get from to get here. <laughs> Africa. To get here. <laughs> no. I believe they traced it back. No. <laughs> Listen, you can't have co regular conversation nowadays. Where, how did you get, where did you, where were you coming from to get uh, here? I came from dinner, you know, I had a nice dinner. Oh. Try to get myself uh, nice and relaxed and make sure I was right for this uh, after buzz. Yeah. Nice. You know, yes. nice. No, because some people go through traffic to get here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, luckily I, I, I live it. I live close. I'm gonna tell you where I live. Right? right. No, yeah. no, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. We don't want that. Yeah. Especially with the fires, you know. Oh yeah, it's fires. pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's out here. It's real. But um, <laughs> <laughs> right. but let us talk about our overall thoughts of this episode. Uh, let's, let's start with you, Rocky. Of course. Um, I thought it was pretty wild. Um, I'm really just into cherish uh, charity and feel. Um, oh, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I was ready for it. You're shipping Lies. them. You're shipping them. Lies. No, I'm not even shipping. They're shipping Lies. themselves. Again, just like I said, make sure that y'all say Rocky was right, because I was. Hashtag. I, okay, well, that's my overall thoughts, is I'm, I'm loving how this is happening, and um, I think it was a very action-packed episode. Yeah. I, yeah, very much so. Mm. Mm. Trifling, trifling, trifling. The whole lot of them. Oh, what? The whole <laughs> lot of so them. So you're done. <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. Man. Just try, Just all, just so much trifling. Like, Gigi needs to introduce the church to her son. She needs to stop hiding her son from the world. Well, we're go we are going to see Yeah, that. it's a lot going on. And Charity, th Phil don't love Charity. Phil loves them hoes. Uh, so that's the truth. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, wait, where, I, my thing is, where are said hoes? <laughs> oh, chick. That's well, not, that's one person. Mm, that we know well, of. Who's an ex? That, and didn't, didn't she mention when she first came on last, last, last week's episode, um, oh, you're getting to know the locals. He gets to know other locals in other places, <laughs> different hoes in different areas. We're gonna uh, get into yeah. it. And I, well, for me, I would say my overall thought was actually May. Lady May, I thought was mm. like she, I, I heard mm. her voice for the first time. I saw why they thought she thought she could be a religious leader. Right. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is why you thought. Yeah. You could. I, I saw it for the first time. Yeah. Um, she was yeah in that sense. What were your overall thoughts this episode? Oh, man, spicy. <laughs> yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I mean, as a viewer, mm -hmm. I feel you know everyone is so hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hope that some, you know, I hope that the love is genuine between uh, Phil. But you know, everyone, <laughs> everyone seems to have a little something more than what's that what's going on on the surface. Yeah. So you know, it's hard to trust. Uh, fully anyone's intentions I feel like at this point yeah how did you come about uh, your role what was that auditioning process like in oh, did, when man. you found out yeah you know I I went in um I I did the scene mm -hmm. they said uh they said great Re and I uh I was like oh <laughs> do you want y'all you, want to do it again and I'm like no I, I think I think we got it oh and so it was then, you to know and I went home and uh, I popped on Greenleaf season one, episode one, and I was like, ah, oh, I definitely booked this role. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> but, you know, I, I also know I, I'll never get a, a role that's not meant for me. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I know it's so many things go ordained. into it. Yeah, yeah that's it's awesome. Very ordained, you know. Very how, soon, ordained, so. how soon after that audition do you, like, know for a fact? Mm, so I I remember uh, it was it was like a maybe a week or so but I remember I had like this like <laughs> candle that you burn like you're supposed to write uh, mm. a, a, like Tension. a dream <laughs> under it, right you know an intention and I I lit the candle and you're supposed to let it burn for like three days mm -hmm. and I'm like sitting on my bed working on some music and having a moment I'm like writing this stuff and I had a moment where I'm like oh I realize I have to really uh release 
this uh, what is meant for me is meant for me. I have to kind of let it go in order to give it life. And as soon as I had that moment of release, it was like three minutes later, I got the, the phone call. Wow. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Jacob is finding some of that 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 moment too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not Jacob. Yeah, AJ. AJ. Oh, yeah. That moment. oh yeah. yeah. You know. You know. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's an honor to tell his story and to to get to play with such such talented actors mm-hmm. and legends and just to be a part of uh, such a show for the culture. You know, Absolutely. it's such a blessing. So. I'm grateful, you know. Wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, well, let's step into uh, Bishop's Gambit. Uh, the, he made a, he made a, he made he went for a play here, and Bishop just seemed, you know, he he seems to just be kind of wanting to take the bull by the horns, and Lady May is always trying mm-hmm. to pull him back right now. Mm-hmm. But what did you guys think about Bishop making this play on his own? Um. I mean, I feel like you kind of have to trust what he does. I feel like we always kind of think that he he's not aware of situations, but he always is at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I I think that it it just kind of it just shows the type of person that he is. He's he's very aware. He's very knowledgeable. He knows the people that he works with too. I think mm-hmm. also. Yeah. So I mean, um, but I mean, did we really think that that was going to happen? Like with the church and the the them coming into the new group with them. But is Bishop off track here with the way he's trying to do it? I I think you. <laughs> I think when you once you get to a, a certain age, you know what you're good at and you know what you're not good at. And he mm. he might understand it, but making the play is probably not his forte. Like mm. la- that's Lady May's forte. Is anybody playing fair? No, but he's the bishop. <laughs> I mean, for sure, but. I mean, I don't know. Is Wait, he still so, a bishop if he retires? So did Lady May not have a point? Because I thought, I thought this was the first time I was like, Lady May's right. The truth just needs to be told, and we need yes. to go. She's with, been preaching that all season, though. That was that's a, that has been her thing all season. It's been her <laughs> thing, but because she hasn't really lived in that truth for so long. To me, this is the first time I felt it as authentic mm, and genuine. Mm, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but she had a breakthrough at the end of last season, so this is this is now yeah. this season. This this oh, season. A new lady man. Yeah, this well, yeah, season. But she's had to prove herself to me as a viewer. Oh. Uh, you got to prove your. You know the last. Two seasons, three seasons. Lady Madden. May has to prove herself to you. Well, yeah, as a viewer, she's got to. I've got to see her make that change, right? Wow. Mm. All right, Travis. For me to believe what what mm. no. For no, charity has it. So I guess like. so because I think sometimes things happen in life where it, it's it's <clears throat> like a hard you either hit rock bottom or something, and that change happens in you instantly, and it, that's what seemed like happened happened to Lady May at the end of last season, and this season she really has been trying to like have everything out out on the table instead of harboring all these lies. She's not yeah, yeah. getting any younger anytime soon. So it's just kind of like <laughs> forever. Um, so it's it's the best it's best to live it all out there versus, you know, trying to cover up all these secrets. Yeah. Mm. Cuz at, at some point they're going to get unveiled anyway. Yeah, they all they they pretty much all Are. did. Yeah. yeah. And, and, but I mean to me she's been sort of and I don't know if you can comment on this, but have have you seen do you think Lady May is more of herself now than she's ever been in these last three seasons? Mm. Mm. You know, I'd like to believe that everybody is a little bit, you know, uh, making progress as far as being <laughs> more themselves or the best version of themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think that yeah, Bishop is, you know, he's the he's the father of the family. He's the provider. Like that's his role. Like that's he he wants to be able to be in control and be able to fix the problems. So. I feel like his his instincts are kind of kicking in, so it doesn't matter what Lady May says. Like he still needs to. He feels he's got to not be idle. He has to fix. Yeah, yeah, he has to. Like he can't. It's. I think it's hard for him to be the leader of the family and be forced to like take a back seat. You yeah. know, a little bit. So. Yeah, it's just. I thought you know. I thought what when Lady May said to Grace, you know, look at the situation you're in now. It's because of what Bishop has done to Connie, and that that's how God works, the universe mm. works. And so I thought that was powerful. Mm. I was like, Lady May mm. is saying, like, the more we hide, more stuff is happening. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I, mm. I've realized this because now my life has come to fruition. And it all came out, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Mm. And she's living her best life. 
Yeah. Well, not everybody, she learned her not everybody else around her is. <laughs> yeah. But I feel, I, I feel like when, you, truth of when her... you when you're living your truth and you're and you're not hiding stuff, then you're then you're, you're then you're lighter. Yeah. And therefore, you can see clearer because you're not trying to cover up all your stuff. Yeah. So now you're seeing like what you're meant for and all this other stuff. So you're she's talking about Lady May. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think about her slapping Carissa? She need Carissa needs. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, debatable. Yeah. You know, so know, here's violence, whatever, here's my but, thing on Carissa. You know, <laughs> not <my> <laughs> <laughs> but she's also keeping that from Bishop, you know. So what, she's slapping not even, Carissa? I feel like there's like, do you think that she's not even being honest with Bishop about well, her relationship with Bishop already, Carissa within the house? Bishop Bishop oh, mentioned well. it last last episode mm. that he he knew they never really got yeah, along, Bishop knew. and Bishop he knows knew. that there's something. But yeah. the thing with Carissa, the whole thing with Chris is she's not living her truth either. Like I've said on almost every episode of this mm. season, Chris knew that Jacob was a mama's oh. boy. Chris knew that he wasn't gonna leave his family, <laughs> oh, yeah. and for Chris to feel like he's gonna leave his family just because she has this plan after so mm. many years, she's delusional. She needs to be slapped. <laughs> <Yeah>. well, period. <laughs> and I just yeah. I've always thought she was trash. <laughs> no, I agree though. I feel like she's she's. I've never liked Carissa. Oh, I liked never. her until she became conniving. Yeah, like, but we that's always but been she's her. She's always though. been conniving. She's right. always been. But, her. but we felt better because she was just wrong. No, but that, no, no it's, it's, it's not me. It, it was one of those things when Jacob was cheating on her. You felt I definitely, I definitely felt for her, right? Yeah. But then you're seeing J- Jacob <laughs> seems to seems to be lo- living his truth. Even mm-hmm. though his truth is he's a follower. Yeah. That's just his thing, right? I stop feeling bad for you if you continue to go back. I get that you're married and all that. What, you mean her going back? To, from cheating they multiple got, they, times? They're married. It's a bond. No, I forget There's that. No, no, but God allows you to leave when you've adultery. So, no. Yeah, the well, bond is broken. Shout out, well, <laughs> well, then Chris had decided to stay. And that's the thing. So, if you decided to stay and then you also stay and you're also thinking that you're going to change the situation after yeah, exactly. so many years, you're the goofy. Boom. Yeah. Yes. Mm. But is she? Because it looks like she's about to get her house. But <laughs> well, like uh, with uh, another man. Looks like she's right? making moves. No, so. I know. And that man so, is so, using her too. So, uh, Hot girl uh, summer. Wait, so mm. here's my thing. So you're just saying like Chris is playing goofy, but now she's actually not playing goofy and she's being smart, but you don't like that either. Do you think mm. she's being smart or do you think she's being used? Or she's taking advantage no. of the situation of what it is. Well, I mean, I, I think Krista now is at the point where she's like, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get what I want. God, and all, but all what the, you want the... is not even yours. That's my thing. Yeah. It's like, what you want is not when even yours. When made for the furniture? Right? Come on, oh my girl. girl. You are doing uh, too really much. Like, no. it's not, she is no, a no, scam, no. scam artist. But, yeah. Get your own furniture. Wait, wait, wait. Get your own furniture in the house. Uh, and when you leave the house, take your furniture with you. I think I think we forget. Chris has been married to Jacob for 10 years or so. I think she came into that relationship with expectations that were reasonable were for re- her. I think Jacob promised her, I think they were, I, and the way everyone's talking about her getting the house, potentially Jacob getting it, and then them having the house, it sounds like everyone assumed that would happen. Like, even with Grace, she said, oh, he's the eldest Greenleaf, so I thought, you know, we'd be getting the house, and she seemed like that was part of everyone's thinking. Right. So Carissa came into this with an expectation. So but that's her when, fault, when she's, No, it's not her you're fault. Assuming, well, even, but even if you did, you're assuming makes an ass out of you you're and me. Now trying to no. get, but you're now trying to take advantage of the siblings, though, too. No, but if like, every, I'm just saying, if everyone was cool with that, that expectation, she it's came, still an and assumption. now she realizes the guy's been cheating on her this entire time, which she was, she was willing to put up with because she thought she had this house at the end of the rainbow. But now I'm See, not getting a house, and I'm not getting anything. To have. But that's what she was essentially. No, then promised. that's not love, and you're not a, yeah. a godly woman. If that's the case, <laughs> you're not. If you're going into a marriage for a business partnership, then that's not what you. That's not mm. what you said vows for. And then there, here's the thing so, too: if you are going for a business partnership, then this is a discussion you have before you get married. Period. She is assuming she came into I, a relationship I assuming did. all this stuff. I think they did. You I think, think they had, I, I, no. I, from everything Chaka, we've seen no. on this show, it's no. clear to me that. Jacob, Jacob promised, like, I'll provide Jake, for you. Jacob I'll take care like, of you. Jacob doesn't like to have those type of conversations. So she probably kind of went around the <laughs> ran around the bush, and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." They probably she probably did it while they were sleeping together. And you know, men say everything, Whoa. say yes to everything in that in that moment. So yeah, that, I do think that he's that type of guy. Yeah, I think he is that. He's like, yes. whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. cheat on you anyway. Well, well, we, 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 <laughs> that's what he. Well, that is, he's that type I don't of guy. Think he thought that. I hope he didn't I think, think that. I think I, he knew the type of woman that he married, and so he knew what he would be able to get away with, and that's why he has. And so now she's cheating. I, I, I got to know that uh, hopefully there's some people that are on Chris's side. If you guys are in the chat, Ain't let nobody, us know what you guys are saying. Chris is trifling. Uh, uh, trifling. Yeah. And, and, uh, oh, and of course, guys, we appreciate you guys when you give us five stars. And Rocky's got a couple uh, words about uh, your input there. Yes. 
Yes, because you guys love to watch us every single week. So that means you have to give us five stars, like, comment. We're on iTunes, YouTube, as you're watching. Mm-hmm. I mean, five stars, we take oh, nothing five. less. <laughs> yeah. Period. Oh, yeah. five. five. Across the board, honey, yeah. tens, okay? <laughs> so if you want to see us every single week and continue to be the ESPN of TV talk, then, you know, do what I said. Exactly. Yeah, thank you guys. We do appreciate all your support. Uh, <laughs> He's like, what did I walk into? <laughs> no, I love it, Listen, yo. I'm soaking it all up. <laughs> I'm soaking it all up. Well, we got to talk about uh, Charity the Relationship. She's got into a little mm-hmm. bit of news. Yes. Um, and she's floored by it, but it may have made the relationship a little bit stronger. But is <laughs> oh, Charity playing God. the fool? What, what do you think? Can you tell us? Do you uh, think... He said, I'm going like, to Like, do you know? Or, yeah. <laughs> okay, if you know... Then obviously don't reveal, but as a viewer, oh, is Charity playing never. the fool? I just want to say, what <laughs> sticks out to me is everyone is just so hurt in the TV show. Like, in Greenleaf, mm. everyone is so hurt, and it's, like, blinding their decision-making, you know? Yes. So I feel like, you know, everyone's trying to look for something to fill mm-hmm. this void or fill this hurt, mm-hmm. and without doing the work to, like, fill it, themselves that part yeah yeah so of course like time and time again you know you're not sure but <laughs> if she, you're gonna be let down no, or you know what? she's so, gonna be well, let down charity found her fill so you know i right. question <laughs> literally you know, and figuratively. Yeah. i i just question phil's intentions so then i question like as far as with the church you know everyone seems to have mm. <laughs> i'm gonna i'm kind of with rocky on this though like i was questioning Phil's intentions, but at the same time, I I haven't I don't know that I've seen Phil yeah. do anything. Oh. We haven't seen Phil. See, oh. Phil I, I think that Phil's intentions are good with I charity. Play. You do? Yes, it, no. I agree. But I feel like it gets muddy because his intentions are not good with the family. Yes. Mm. yes. So then you're trying to drive a stake between the family and it's charity, a and that is always a dirty, dirty situation, and like Phil. that never seems to end. But TK doesn't even believe with that. that swagger, like he's done this before. And he probably has. Who did you wrong? He has a character. <laughs> nobody, oh, nobody, nobody, nobody's did me wrong. But yeah. this is this this is the thing. It's like if you if you started off the the you started off with the intention mm. of using charity. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden mm. you're in and you're in love with her. Yeah. Come on now. He so, needs he needs her to in order to complete his mission. Yeah, you can I, start off just having some a certain type of relationship with someone and then it bloom into something. Right. Else. If you were friends and I, it, there's no intention involved, but his intention was to destroy the family. Yes. And so he and got so a little now close okay. to her. He was spending a little uh, bit of time. Get out of here. All I'm saying so, no. is charity deserves hold love hold too. On, charity does and, deserve love, but charity needs to love herself first. Get her yeah. life together. Yeah. Realize that she is the problem with everything that's happened, and then <laughs> move on. And find I don't think she's no, no, no. Get on Christian no, legal yeah, and find somebody think, outside of the church. No, I don't think. I don't think she's the problem with every yeah. single relationship that she's had for sure. Well, she's been set up for failure. One, yeah. No, I'm not even talking. About, I'm just Tough. talking about her family in general. Yeah. I think she, the reason that she is so insecure is because she's never really had a foundation that's built her up. So I feel like if we're so, go- don't you think she needs to find that foundation and build herself up first before Abs- she gets a relationship? Absolutely, but so I she think don't that I think that she's on slaughter gang right now i don't think she's i think she's just kind of like look i'm about to do what makes me feel good mm. and i'm and that's it i don't really mm. care because she feels like the world is right giving and her the butt anyway because she's and hurt. then you know what's yeah. gonna happen exactly and sometimes you know you want to hurt back and charity i'm i'm all here for and it. then she that, that's <laughs> super week. petty and then you know what's gonna happen <laughs> no it's gonna blow up in her face and then she's gonna say why so. me like she did before i think well, that she has a character arc in this and i think that she is mm. about to she's i feel charity like her character is more than for this real, for real. we'll see well, Next mm-hmm. episode, everyone turns into a superhero and we <laughs> save the world. Like, I was like, wait, what are you going right? to <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, I would say, Phil hasn't, like, the words have not, have been there to say this relationship is genuine, but they've all, they've been too much for me. Where, where he mm-hmm. said, what you're going to find in my apartment is a picture I took of you the day that we met and I printed it and put it in my fridge. That wasn't too much? No, yeah, that was definitely stalker. That was too much? Stalker right? vibes. Like, that was like... Yeah. Because he looked at everybody oh and he picked God. the weakest link and that was her. And oh, it, I think... So oh, that, was, that was the one line that made me go, he might be playing her because that's man, too far. Might. That's, yeah. that's too Maybe. Far. We'll oh, see. Yes. Man, shout out to Sean Blackmore. Oh, I think yeah. he is killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, right. Sometimes he, and he's such a nice guy but I absolutely I hate know, him. That's, that's, that's so <laughs> he gave funny, her the like, keys knowing full well she's not going to go. He's going to rush to the apartment quick but he's like, oh, take these keys. Come over anytime. Man. I'm but, here for it. You're laughing like that. That scene with him and Jacob when they stuck to each other like... Phil gets up and does that thing like... 
I can't. I, I just love that scene. Uh, <laughs> I, I think we're still waiting for that that epic fight. <laughs> man, right. jeez, wow, those are some big man. Let me tell you that like TV is they're, they're as big in real life. Too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. big. Uh, and now we got to talk a little bit about Grace and that sort of that penultimate moment of her stepping down and yeah. and how she got there and how we arrived at all mm. of this. And Sophia. So, right, I know. You, cause you, we talked about it last week. That's interesting. Huh? I know. I want to know how you think, what so, you think. So, um, but, but let's start off with Grace and needing to, get, um, needing to get Jacob back and try to figure out what took place. Uh, what do you guys feel about Grace's predicament before she decides she's got to step down? I should. I think she should have just told the church what's up. Yeah. Mm, mm. I or mean, just, it is a black church, so they'll probably judge her first. But then they'll like if you if you they'll come around. <laughs> so I mean, so it'd be like that. But Lady May had a point. Lady May said, "Look, there's there are mothers in that church. There are parents." That's in that what church. I, yeah, yeah, I know. I was like, I mean, honestly, you know, hey. And at the end of the day, I mean, you need to do something because it's not like you know you've been doing them right this entire time. <laughs> it's just yeah. like it's been like a mess. So I'm, i this is probably the most disappointed I've ever been in Gigi. Like yeah. I'm. I did not see that mm. situation coming at all. With her stepping down or this the, whole the, thing the, with the, the sun, Trump, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah. I'm like, whoa! We well, don't know she officially she the the episode ended with her stepping down, but she might change her mind oh, in the yeah, next, yeah, ep- yeah. next next episode. So True, we don't, yeah. we don't know, especially with that pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I just like to stare it up. You know? I just like to stare it up. <laughs> you know, I think everyone ha- has a tendency to overcorrect. You mm-hmm. know, so she is now trying extra hard to make up for the absence in AJ's life, and so I think she's really trying to. In her mind, she only sees AJ. <laughs> in that moment, you know, all the way in the back. Like. At, at, th- at this point, how does Grace touch AJ or reach out to AJ? Like, oh, how does she change uh, that emotion in him? Uh, <laughs> at this point? Yeah. In this episode? Yeah, th- yeah. Look, I still say I came in the wrong door. I was looking for the restroom. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, really, you know, it's Sophia with this phone call. Mm. And so... Uh, so so know, Grace as, really as, can't... As, at this point, Grace as, can't touch his harder. Well, yeah, as as AJ can feel however he wants to feel towards, towards Grace, but he understands that Sophia had, had nothing to do with that, you know? Yeah. And so... That's all I should say about that. <laughs> you know, like, He's like what can I, 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 what I can't can speak I too much about how his proximity to Grace is yet, but yeah. the you know it's things gonna change. Take some time too. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you can't do that overnight. Oh well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's even nah. possible so for her issues. to reach him, and you know, nah, you know, yeah. Uh, a, yeah. AJ, yeah. <laughs> AJ's got a tough road. Yeah, he's. <laughs> well, Pretty broken, you know. But speaking of yeah. Sophia, Sophia seems to have really come into her own um, this episode. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that scene was so funny what? though. When she was like, You back the hell up. I was <laughs> like, Girl. I didn't recognize. I was like, Is that <laughs> Sophia? <laughs> no, but I, she's got a little of her big brother in her. Apparently. Hey. Wow. I was like, Okay. Yeah. No, but I like how it's kind of like we're seeing like the teen drama though. Like, that's just yeah. such a, another demo. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting to see like what their world is like now because I feel like it's so separate from what their parents are going through but they have their own little drama and grandparents right and now they're legal like they're living like on their own it's just like it's so crazy they're great all of those actresses actors all of them Mm -hmm. yeah it's a really great cast yeah it really is so you're okay with this okay as we talked last week because we got a little little... no me (laughs) me and her we we were watching together and I I don't know I do think that it is breaking girl code yeah, I but do. You're part of the crew. I she ain't do. Part of the crew. But a big butt's coming. I do feel like she doesn't know her, and so that's why <laughs> she, she ain't feels part of the crew. I she, don't, we don't represent each other. But, but she still should have talked not, to her, though. I would have talked. They're not living together. Well, she's not living with them. It's it's just Zora and yeah. Sophia. But she's spending some time there. Yeah, that's, right. that's how I 
feel but she don't, don't. But she don't it's know messy. it like that. It's I mean, messy, though. Is it, is it messy? It to me, it's mm, messy. No. I, I just wouldn't, wouldn't even want to have that type of static <laughs> yeah. when I go home. Because yeah. you know she's going to be there at some point during yeah. the day. And then, like, if he comes and visits, then what's that going to be like? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just a little but too much okay, drama. But you're yeah. okay with this, though. So. Shut up, Shaka. Okay you are so... No. He's right. a hater. Uh-huh. Okay, so you think that... So what would you do? You would just be like, no, I'm not going to mess yeah. with... Dante, are you kidding me? That's like in the house. It's that's well, that's a family. Sophia's that's, that's in a like, family. That's family. We've yeah. seen Sophia. You know, she she's come back or she's kind of sort of back, and she doesn't have her cousin. She's dealing with all these issues. She found out she had a brother. There's just a lot of going, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. And I think she came back with the intention of the bond that her and her cousin had, and her yeah. cousin's found a whole another friend. So in essence. It's not Sophia's fault. She was pushed or, towards him. Or, or is she doing this just to get back at Nikki? Because she's like, you stole my cousin. Or mm. what is he doing messing around in the bushes, dropping off boxes <laughs> at this time of night? Okay. He didn't want to see her. Hey, where's the security? <laughs> Who's letting this guy on the on the property? Mm. Well, you know, so, yeah. But meanwhile, oh, wow. Rocky's like, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Get out of here, Shaka. Listen. So wait, so you don't think she should have... She No, of course not. No, that's, that's, I mean... So mm. it's it's not okay for her to mm. find a friend in a gentleman, but it's okay for Carissa, for um, Charity, to mess with Phil. <laughs> wait, I... He just doesn't It's okay believe. for Charity, like, I don't believe Phil is being honest with his intention with Charity, but Charity can do whatever she wants, you know, like... But, <laughs> Phil is not dating or was dating like wasn't a close friend with her cousin who's dating the best friend like can we talk about that conversation to yeah. too also that conversation between Phil and um, I can't think oh, of her chick. name white chick yeah what's the white oh, woman's Judy. name Judy Judy so that conversation between him saying or her saying is the only reason if we're so similar the only reason that you're not with me is because at this point in your life you feel like you need to be with a black woman did that no, like, what did you guys feel like when that happened? Did you, did you, do you feel Man. like that was true, or do you feel I like know a lot of people who believe, I feel like, who, yeah. who follow those that that I actually it was yesterday. One dude, uh, he plays football and he's going to some state where there's, <clears throat> you know, more, predominantly yes, and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, I'm gonna have to search for my sisters because I don't want to get, I don't want to get caught up. And that was that was his that was his mindset. Well, his logic is just well, his message is <laughs> well. I mean, there are conveyed. people who, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. But I guess my thing is, I, I I feel like it was valid in her saying. I want to know if she truly feels that way, and if she truly loves him. I guess like what's that dynamic like? I, because I felt a genuine yeah a chemistry between. She was those cheating two, on yeah. her husband with him. But I I right. still, and I felt not only did I feel that a genuine part. chemistry with him, <laughs> I'm I'm almost wondering if she doesn't want him back. Oh, but mm, you like always just want what you yeah. can't yeah. have. You yeah. always exactly. want what you yeah. can't have. They always live like, around when you're like, with somebody but else. But why would she yeah. say that? I, I guess I just want to know what that relationship, I hope that, that we draw well, maybe, more into that. Yeah, maybe that was a conversation. Yeah, I think that's a conversation. I, I, I know that's a conversation I've had with a lot of people throughout the year, especially around college, when people were <laughs> thinking about, you no, know, people were thinking about who what they're going to marry. What conversations are you having? Well, people were saying, look, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a week. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I know. I will say that I knew some people that said, that <laughs> said, I want to, I want to, I want to marry my own race, mm-hmm. but while I'm in college, I'm going to hook up with whoever, whoever I want yeah, yeah, right. until yeah. I have to make that choice. I know a lot of people And like so that I, I knew, and so that was a conversation we had in college, so it wasn't surprising to me that they may have had that conversation. Well, that's interesting. I know, I know I'll a lot of people like that know. now. They yeah. was like, I'll... <laughs> I'll do Becky and all of them, but um, <laughs> Sheikah's for me. You know, is it too out of character that Phil falls in love with someone that's in proximity to him that he thinks might be able to lift his status up? Or? Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, Even seriously. if it is love, is it no. just love based on that? Really? Right? Well, yeah. I mean, but that's that also a narrative. Maybe what drives some of his attraction, and then maybe he falls in love with them. Yeah, yeah. 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 right. He comes no, seriously. The swagger and does, pulls the okie doke. No. And then moves on to another city. <laughs> but that's no. a, I mean that's a that's a, a very powerful conversation yes. with but, a lot of layers. Yes. Phil needs Jesus. But of for course, real. <laughs> of course. You what I well speaking of who needs Jesus, we have a segment for that. <laughs> no, we have a segment have, for that. We have <laughs> news predictions in our Who Needs Prayer segment where we're going to talk about a character who needs prayer. But let's kick it we off. We don't have new, news and gossip today because oh, well, it's we, all focused on. Well, we did have yeah. We said what are you working on for our right. news? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yes, because you do music. Yeah. So yes. can we get that news drop? Can we get that news? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> our news and gossip is our fabulous <laughs> guest, effects. Jacob Gibson. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I've actually been a musician uh, 
for my whole life, really. So uh, luckily, I, I, I work in a lot of music with different people, and I still write and produce some stuff on my own, and I have a short film coming out. Okay. And I, I did a, an episode on All Rise that was out, mm-hmm. and an episode on Grey's Anatomy that was out. And okay, big check. <laughs> yeah, my Grey's Anatomy yeah. check. <laughs> so uh, things have been super good this year, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to all that the universe has in store for yes, me. Yes, come on. Sometimes That's I cool. get mad when I see my favorite characters in other shows. I'm like, wait, you just gotta stick to that. <laughs> no, well, I, well, you know, I, what I love about Greenleaf is that you get to see so many new faces in mm. the black culture community. Like, mm-hmm. it's really dope because now we're yeah. introduced, especially like with Shane. I saw Shane, um, who Shane's plays... Shane's killing it. Yeah, Shane's he was on um, Love, Simon. So, oh, and now, like, yes. that's a totally different character yeah. than who he is yeah. on here. And so when I knew, he, when I saw the uh, previews for him to be yeah. on here, I was like, what? Look at these kids! Yeah. Like it's crazy. Yeah. Like we're in a whole new black renaissance yeah. of actors. Yo, you it's know, a film and television. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like but it's yeah. it's beautiful to see. So yeah. you know, you're a part Shane of that. Shane is episode. working on the deputy, which I believe is on Fox or FX. Okay. It's coming out. Come on, y'all. And then Zora's working on the craft. Right oh, now. the craft. Yeah. 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 Come yeah, on. You know, shouts out to Greenleaf family. Yeah. Yeah. Big checks, big teams. I know Merle got some big teams. Yeah, Listen. she just had her Broadway hit. Yeah. Right, oh, right. She's got some dope stuff. Yeah. Listen, real, big teams, big checks. As you can't say. And I, 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 didn't realize, I didn't realize you were a musician, so we're probably going to see you in that, that Greenleaf choir. So. Oh, right! Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right they were charity. Right, they were charity. Right. 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 The family taking That's over the, the next yeah. generation of green leaves. Right. That's the spinoff. Oh my goodness! That's what happens in following the scene as AJ just runs up on stage and breaks <laughs> right. 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 out, <laughs> the <drums>. out <laughs> in the song. Yeah, I oh, can't. And instantly accepted by everyone. Right. Like, what your brother's got it. Oh, brother's got it. Oh, he's got he's got a record. Oh, right. We forgive him. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, let's go on to our Who Needs Prayer segment. Mm. We pray for a character mm. who is in a desperate, desperate Our need. characters. Yes. Mm. Got that? Where's that organ? That the, no organs? No no music? We're going to do We got to keep it, you know. Yeah. We had, y'all didn't even join in. That was like. Oh, oh you were doing it. Oh, you were doing it. Oh. We thought we had him in the room. Oh, <laughs> You gotta like Wait, slam down. That was the. Oh my god! That's an idea. Yes, that's I'm I'm being yeah. the. The or, she's being yes, the pianist. Right, but it's okay. I ain't got no backup singers. So <laughs> my, who needs prayer? Right? My yeah. Who Everybody needs prayer? Here. Right, right, exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Um, who needs prayer? I'm going to pray for Carissa because she about to get a beat down. Mm-hmm. I feel like she about to get a beat down. So I'm gonna pray for your uh, face because mm-hmm. you need to get knocked out one By more good time. Right. By so and not. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch my prayer around from being like a positive note to you know God, you know handle it. You can handle it better than we can. So you know mm. get up in it. But you praying for Chris <laughs> to get you beat? know because God don't like ugly and and Whoa. you are being real trife. So I God does that. It's like you know you so know what God, you should do. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Let me just send this person over to to, to slap you up. Yeah. Sometimes, 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 sometimes the blessings mm. are the ones that hurt the most. The holy hand. Ooh, Man. Okay. <laughs> That's real. Wow. Hey. I I also second that Chris uh she needs <laughs> retweet she needs she needs she needs a lot a lot of stuffs mm. going on yeah I also want to pray for charity I've been praying for charity almost every season charity needs she needs to get on her knees and pray like you know people think they know Jesus and they just don't they don't talk to Jesus all the time because you listen if you stay still long enough Jesus is gonna talk to you good night I don't think she's talking to Jesus because mm. Jesus will tell her you need to stay away from Phil because Phil is not about mm, that life yeah. so we praying for Phil we praying for Phil because Phil needs to also find Jesus and realize he needs to stop using people <laughs> put the swagger away and you know what? do your calling if your calling is to preach then go to a small church find a state go somewhere else and preach mm. find yourself a holy wife go 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 to one of those church schools <laughs> find yourself a young holy wife and call it a day a young holy, a holy wife, wife. A young, holy wife. young and holy right, <laughs> <laughs> right. exactly only if you're young and you're holy <laughs> I'm gonna pray for Lady May. Um, mm. She she's finally like she's found her voice. She's in her conviction, but like nobody's listening. Mm. Um, 
and and that that can be frustrating. But I love that you got that support. She's going to the prayer prayer closet. You got a prayer closet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, I'm going Yo, to prayer closet. Prayer I want closet. to see the prayer closet. Yeah, right? I was like, mm-hmm. get a prayer closet. Oh, well, then. But I'm, I'm praying for her because I I felt that desperation in her voice where she's she's finally she finally got it right. You know, mm-hmm. the blinders are off. Mm-hmm. I see it all. Mm-hmm. I'm telling everyone what to do, and no one's doing it. So I'm mm-hmm. praying for her and to to have the. I guess to find the voice to pray to reach out to the rest of the family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I take this seriously. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, just, I'm like, all right. <laughs> Do you have any prayers? You know, I think in classic Jacob Gibson fashion, I must send a little prayer out for all the people <laughs> of Greenleaf and hoping that they all find their own wholeness because when we are whole in ourselves, then we can take the weight when people need to lean on this. Ooh, oh, amen. Oh. Yes. <laughs> he got the script for next season. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah okay. so. I can't do shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we got to go to our predictions. Oh, man. Your Ooh. After Buzz TV predictions. Um, um, I think, I'm. you know, I'm trying to make my prediction on who I think is going to catch Carissa. <laughs> Oh, like, I want Lady May to Who's do gonna it. catch the hands? It has to be Lady oh, May. Wow. You think it's gonna be Lady May? It has but to be but she already kind of no, no, caught her. Yeah, Lady nah, May. Lady yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lady May already. Yeah, knows. but she held back. She did one slap. Yeah. That's not your Lit- prediction. Yeah. I'm just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's taking. I'm just helping you out. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what your prediction needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think. Um, hmm. I yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say I think that. I think Bishop is going to catch Carissa, and I think that he's going to have mm. a loving conversation with her. Mm. And it's or he already knows, and so he's just kind of waiting for that moment to happen. Um, and or Gigi, but I don't want it to be Gigi. I want it to be Bishop. So mm. that's what I'm going to say. Mm. Come on, TK, it's your turn now. I want to retweet that, but then I want Bishop to talk to her, and then Lady May to come with the backhand right after that. Ooh. Oh yeah, no, it needs to be charity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, it yeah. needs to be charity. I feel like charity will get a charity good whoop on on Carissa. Yes, yeah. I don't oh, or yeah. or a Jacob. Ooh. No, on no. Carissa, Jacob no. to be Carissa. Yeah, no, not be. Oh, no, I'm talking man. about catch her. Oh, no. I, like, I feel like I that feel was like, low key. Low key. I, mm, I either feel, either Jacob or see. This is my prediction now. Okay, we'll go. Because yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, I you're mean, I feel, up like, time. I feel like Chris, um, Charity. She's not in any position to be correcting anybody. Charity needs to correct herself and find out that she can't mm. accept the ring. <laughs> Why are you so hard on Charity as if because everybody up in here charity. is not raggedy? I need, I need Charity. <laughs> everybody, everybody, Charity, ha- listen, oh. I'm so sick. Wait, 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 Young and holy. Young, Young and, and holy, <laughs> y'all. Young. Seriously. Like, I feel like of? charity. I feel like why do we beat up so much on charity? As I'm if, not like, beating up on charity. I want cha- I want the best for everybody, and I want charity to see that she's part of the problem. Like you can't blame yeah. everybody. But so do you I, think she will see that? Like that's your see, I'm I'm hoping she will. Yeah. But just like in life. Some people never see it. Some people stay trifling, and some people never see the light ever. Yeah. And it's unfortunate, and that's my frustration. Yeah. So I really hope that one day she does see it. Yes, if Phil really yeah. loves her, then that's great. But at the end of the day, if her and Phil get together and she's still broken, it's not going to end mm. well anyway. Yeah. We wasn't this hard on Jacob when he was cheating. Well, well that was season one, <laughs> and now we're all well, fully We've all ourselves. grown. Yeah. We've yeah. all grown. No, he slipped up. <laughs> He slipped up a couple times, but but Krista decided to take him back, and now tri- Chris is acting trifling. So Krista needs to go about her uh, business and find a whole well, new family. I, I'll say I'll go a different way. I think Krista Krista might win. I think Krista's gonna. Uh, I, if Krista wins, I'll be so I, I, upset. I, I think I mean she's got the inside track. She got the lawyer. She got the. So I think I think Krista emerges from this the victor. Mm. But what we see is victory. You know, I don't think Chris is kicking anyone out of the house. I, I I think they'll they'll find a way to whatever it is, mend whatever it is. But I think Chris could end up the winner in this. Mm. But I think, still, still with Jacob or divorce? No, I think mm. I no. I'm not sure about still with Jacob, but I think Chris could end up the winner. But I think the family will also win as well. But I think Chris will make it. No. I think Chris will make I it. I think the she's legal, actually bad. I think, I think she'll she... get legal title to this home. <gasps> yeah, now, that'll, that'll, see that'll be see, real that, messed up. That might happen, yeah. but then she won't have Jacob. And I think she, I think she knows she can't run the Greenleaf yeah. franchise empire. If she gets to home, Jacob's not leaving. (laughs) Well, no, no, but no, I think he would because she just crossed his family. Like he's some people are about family. But what does look at the church? 
they have if they have a foothold in Look, a place that they what, want. If I married stand. into so, it, 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 I married somebody, <laughs> and that's some, that's somebody crossed my family without me even knowing. Like we ain't together no, no, no but more. Staying married yeah. is the only way you might get it back if if that's the play you're going for. So. Well, Jacob doesn't seem capable of that. He needs yeah, he does seem just like, mm, <laughs> You guys aren't about it. Unaware. Oh, man. Yeah, no. Oh, you, what, what's think... going to happen? Yeah. What do you, what you, do you, t- think? you tell us. I think? think AJ's going to find his way to the snack table. This you one. Know, he's going to grab a few <laughs> things to eat. He's going to head to the club. Sophia's still at the club. That's uh, as far as I got. He gonna, he's gonna whoop on somebody. He's gonna whoop on uh, the, uh, <laughs> boyfriend, her boyfriend. Oh, look, you, that's next my new episode <laughs> is crazy. If you don't watch next episode, you're gonna miss out on some life changing green leaf drama. You guys heard it here first. Here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hype man. Right. Right. No, I know. This, this is the quiet story. <laughs> on Green Leaf. It's like how we all started like, what, what, yeah. what's, what's going on? Listen. You got to listen up to hear. Mm-hmm. Well, before we go, since you can't really give a prediction, do you have like a hope? Just what's your mm. hope for the character? Um, yeah, what's your hope for the character in the future? Of AJ? Yeah. Man, I feel like, you know, as a viewer, there's still so much we don't know about AJ, you know, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. He, he has so many walls up. Um, and like all of us, you know, we we had to let some walls down in order to allow ourselves to be loved. So mm-hmm. I can only wish that he finds a situation where he feels comfortable enough to be a little vulnerable. <coughs> but you know, it's <laughs> I don't, you know, it's hard yeah, in the no, Green Leaf family. Like you know, that's that. hard in the Green Leaf yeah. family. Well, week, so. we want to thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we come yeah, back. Yeah, hey, maybe even. Yeah, because this is the last episode. Yeah. Well, next week. La- okay, yeah. so second to last. Yeah, we got yeah. one more week and then. I know. We're going to miss you guys. Well, it's been a beautiful well, Where can they find you, Miss Harris? My name is Rocky Harris, and you can find me everywhere on social media at Raquel Harris TV. You can find me on everything at TK Trinidad. Also, check out my website at tktrinidad.com. And you guys can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Shaka Strong. And where can they find you? Oh, uh, uh, it's Book of Jacob on Instagram and on Twitter. It's it's Book of Jacob. You feel me? It's a bit confusing. <laughs> right. You, you'll Book find of Jacob. You'll, 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 you'll be down yeah, below, right? Okay, we'll see you guys next week. Ciao. Peace, guys. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. (laughs) The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.